Greetings YouTube, the doctor is in. Dr. Urias Papers here coming at you with another commentary on Dungeons and Dragons. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit the like button. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave a question or a comment. All right, it's time for another installment of the Doctor Spell Prognosis. And today we're talking about the spell Magic Mouth. I give this one a C. It's a fun spell. It's more fun for the DM. Uh, it is not really a spell that is used in combat uh so much so that's pretty much why i'm giving it a c you know, we're looking for spells that are you know for their utility for the game overall and the survivability of the characters this doesn't really fit into that but it is a great spell for the dm and all dms should utilize this spell as much as possible to give out clues to further their story along to push the players in one direction or another, to give the players more choices, all of that. So it's a second level spell. It uh, takes one minute to cast. It is a ritual spell. So uh, it could be associated with a PC wizard or an NPC wizard. Uh, it has a range of 30 feet, which is, is, I don't even know why they even put a range in here. Um, verbal somatic material components. It does cost 10 gold pieces. So it is a small bit of honeycomb and a jade dust worth 10 gold pieces, which the spell consumes. So casting a spell over and over again does have a cost. It lasts until it is dispelled. So it is virtually forever, and it's illusion. So you implant a message within an object in range. A lot of times these are on doors, <clears throat> you know, before um, players open doors, things like that. Uh, a message that is uttered uh, when trigger condition is met. So you set the trigger condition. Um, you choose the object. It can't be worn or carried. And then you speak the message, which is 25 words or less. You could have um, uh, finally determine the circumstance that will trigger the spell to deliver your message. Okay, so when the circumstance occurs, the mouth appears. And it recites the message in your voice. And at the same volume you spoke. So you could have it scream, you could have it yell, you could have it whisper, whatever. Um, you can also kind of make the mouth look the way you want. Um, if the object you chose has a mouth or something that looks like a mouth, the magical mouth appears there so that the words appear to come out of the object's mouth. Um, and then uh, when you cast this spell, you can have the spell end after it delivers a message, or you can have it repeat it. Uh... So they can be visual or audible conditions that occur within 30 feet of the object. So that's where the 30 feet comes from. So they give an example. You could instruct a mouth to speak when any creature moves within 30 feet of an object or when a silver bell rings. It doesn't say you couldn't have multiple of these. So if you need to get a message out that is more than 25 words, then you could have multiple magic mouths all activate in tandem. The triggers could be the first one activates when something comes near it. Or like when something tries to open a door, and then the second one goes, the third one goes, and so on and so forth. Um, and then I believe you cannot see these until, uh, yes. So um, it appears when the circumstance occurs. So you can't actually find this. Now, if you were to detect magic on the object, because it's not really a trap, um, the object probably would, it should detect magic. It should radiate magic and it should radiate illusion magic. All right, that's what I got for everybody today. I appreciate everybody tuning in and I will catch everybody later.